Hello everyone, welcome to MES e-learning channel. In this video, we will solve a problem on resultant of parallel four system. On the screen, you can see a problem. So, the question is replace the force system acting on a bar as shown in the figure by a single force. So, we have so many forces and we have a couple as well in the diagram. So, we have to convert this into a single force. Okay. So, before proceeding to the uh, solution, so you can see this is a unlike parallel forces. So, you can see the two forces acting upward and three forces acting downward. So, on the bar again we have a three couple that is C1, C2 and C3. So, couple is nothing but two pair of forces acting, acting on the same point. So, in this they have given this uh, C1 value as 85 Newton meter, C2 as 65 Newton meter and C3 as 90 Newton meter. So, in the previous video we saw about how to find the resultant of parallel force system in four steps. So, we are going to use those steps to find out the resultant. Now, solution. So, the very first step is to find the resultant. The very first step is find the resultant that is R is equal to summation of F. So, summation of F is nothing but all the algebraic sum of all the forces in the system. So, that means, so R will be equal to, so we have three, uh, we have five forces, one is 50 that is acting downward. So, it is acting downward that means we have can take negative and again the second force is also acting downward that is minus 40 and the third force which is acting upward. So, it will be plus 30 and the fourth force is acting upward again plus 20 and the fifth force the last force that is acting downward that is that is why we are taking negative minus 40. So, now if you put in the calculator you will get the value as r will be equal to minus 80 Newton. So, we can write it like this as well or else we can write r will be equal to 80 Newton downward direction. So, this downward direction indicates it is a negative. So, we found out the first step that is a resultant. The second step is you have to find out the movement. We have to find movement. So, movement about point O. So, we will take movement about point O. Okay. So, that is summation of m of m suffix O. So, this suffix O that means represent movement about point O. So, if you look at the diagram, if you can see the diagram. So, we have So, we are taking movement about point O. So, at this point if any force is acting that is we have one force acting but there is no distance. If you see the movement formula is nothing but force into distance. Movement formula is nothing but force into distance. So, we have a force at this point but there is no distance that distance is 0. So, that is the reason this particular value 50 Newton it would not come in our equation. Okay, so, this will act as 0. So, now we will move to the second force that is the 40 Newton. If you see the 40 Newton, yes, it is acting downward and if you take the rotation about point O, it is acting like a clockwise direction. So, for clockwise direction, we are going to take as negative and the distance is 1 meter. For clockwise direction, we are taking as negative and the distance is 1 meter. So, we can have it in our equation as so, minus 40 into 1, then plus summation nothing but all the algebraic equation. Now, second thing. Now, again we have a second force that is a 30 Newton. If you see 30 Newton about the point O, it is making an anti-clockwise direction. It is making an anti-clockwise direction and the distance. So, we have to make sure that here most of the students makes a mistake. The distance is from the origin, we are taking the from the origin, from the origin till the force acting 30 Newton. So, if you see the origin, from the origin we have the distance as 2 meter, 1 plus 1, 2 meter. So, you have to include 30 into 2 meter. So, plus 30 into 2, again plus, so we go for this third force. So, the third force also making an anti-clockwise anti direction. So, positive. 
if you see the distance from the origin, so the third force is like, fourth force is something like 3 meter. So, this is a 3 meter, right? So, we can take as 3 meter. So, 20 into 3 plus, now the last force the last force is acting downward. So, it is making an rotational force about the point O, it is like a clockwise direction. So, we will take negative and the distance is from the origin till here it is 4 meter. So, we will take it as distance 40 Newton into 4 meter. This is negative. So, we have to take negative minus 40 into 4 meter. Okay. So, this all the movement. Okay. So, again the movement is force into distance. We have entered all the movement but we have on the same system, we have this couple as well. If you see the couple, so we have C1, C2 and C3. So, this couples will add in the movement equation. So, we have to make sure that we have to check for the sign of the couple and we have to use the appropriate sign. If you see the C1 is a kind of a clockwise direction, so we will take it as a negative. And if it is a if it is a anti-clockwise, you can see the C2 is anti-clockwise direction, so it is a positive. And again C3 is a clockwise direction, it is a negative. So, C1 is negative, C3 is negative, C2 is positive. So, again we can add this uh, C1, C2, C3 values in our moment equation. So, first C1 is uh, clockwise direction. So, it is negative 85 Newton meter and C2 is anti-clockwise. So, addition of 65 Newton that is C2 and C3 is clockwise direction. So, negative of 90. So, if you do all this calculation, we will get the summation of moment about point O is equal to minus 190 Newton meter. So, similarly, we can write it like this as well, oral summation of moment will be equal to 190 Newton meter. So, since it is a negative sign, so it the direction will be clockwise direction. So, we can represent like this. Now, the third step is apply the Varigon theorem to find out the distance of the resultant. Okay, so apply Varigon's theorem. So here the formula is summation of M O about point O will be equal to resultant into distance. So we have to find out the distance that will be D will be equal to summation of movement divided by resultant. So summation of movement is 190 and the resultant was 80. So if we get, we will get as something d will be equal to 2.375 meter okay so d is nothing but 2.375 meter now we have to position it the fourth step is position of this resultant with respect to point o position of resultant r with respect to point o Now, we know we found out the distance as well. So, this is a bar. Okay, so, this is our, this is our point O and we got the resultant as something um, 80 and it is minus. So, it is acting downward. It is minus, it is acting downward and the distance it is acting is that 2.375 meter and the the total length of the bar was 4 meter. The total length of the bar was 4 meter. So, we have to from this distance, we approximately we can take 2, 2.35. So, somewhat the resultant R is over here, it is equal to 80 Newton and the distance here it is. So, 2.375 meter. So, this is the origin. So, like this we have to solve the problem of parallel force system to find the resultant. I hope you understood this problem guys. Thank you. We will see you on the next video. Thank you so much.